So is saving space with a sun amp really worth it? With standard cylinders, we can reduce how much hotter this heat source needs to be by doing things such as maximizing the heat exchanger surface area, making the heat exchanger non-restrictive, and also making full use of the cooler zone in the lower half of the cylinder. The sun amp seems to have a smaller heat exchanger with slightly narrower waterways, which pushes the flow temperature higher and also doesn't stratify, which essentially means doesn't have a cooler zone to help with heat exchange efficiency, pushing distortion even further. The sun amp additionally doesn't tell the heat pump what the store temperature is. It instead uses the same resistor switch that Mixergy uses, a link to the Mixergy video in the description. Just to be clear, the heat pump may not actually reach its full set temperature, but by having advanced controls, you can hold back your heat pump more and maintain longer at lower temperatures.